In boxing, the unexpected can happen in the blink of an eye. Welcome to part three of the biggest upsets in boxing history, where we dive into more shocking moments when underdogs defied the odds, stunned the world, and left legends reeling. We kickstart this video with one of boxing's biggest upsets on June 20th, 1982. Unheralded Kirkland Lying shocked the world by outpointing the legendary Roberto Duran over 10 rounds. Lying's slick movement and sharp counterpunching left Duran frustrated, marking a stunning defeat for the Hall of Famer. And Duran is there to be hit with that jab, but there's a good right hand by Duran. Duran's best punch of the fight, a big right hand, but Kirkland Lang is clear-eyed. This is where Duran wants Lang, on the inside. But Lang is tying him up very well. That was his trademark, and it's gone. I think instead it's been replaced by some self-doubt. A right hand by Lang, and that caught Duran flush on the jaw. Back live for round eight, it's scheduled for ten. Duran with a thunder. And Roberto Duran should be fighting this 10th round like his life is at stake, at least his boxing life, because it is, but we're not seeing it. Not a good performance by the uh, two-time world champion. Lang takes a big right hand from Duran, a right hand by Lang. Roberto Duran has lost only three times in 77 fights. He's got an uphill struggle tonight. And there is no firepower at all in those punches Duran's throwing. And there's a big right by Kirkland Lang. Maybe Lang's best punch. He threw big right hands early in the fight, but that was a wicked shot. And Duran is just grappling here. Takes a right hand from Lang. And Duran's knees buckled just a few moments ago. He's pushing forward, not throwing any punches. It's all Lang here in the last round. Judge Nick McAlpin scores it, 96 Lang, 94 Duran, the winner by a split decision, Kirkland Lang, Lang the split decision winner. His next time here, and Stevenson would like nothing better than to win that light head. Shocking upset. Adonis Stevenson delivered a thunderous first-round knockout against Chad Dawson, dethroning the light heavyweight champion. Dawson, once the division's king, was overwhelmed by Stevenson's explosive left hand, sealing one of boxing's most dramatic finishes. The upstairs, when his uh, Sunday punch is really that right hook to the body. Well, that could be a case of nerves. It's not just nerves, but it's also the caliber of fighter that Dawson is. Dawson has better legs than anybody that Adonis Stevenson has ever fought, so he's not going to be able to land that body shot at will. It's going to take some more work. Down goes Dawson on a spectacular left cross, and Chad Dawson is very badly hurt by what was a sensational shot. He has wobbly legs as he backs up with the rope, and the referee's going to stop it. Michael Griffin stops it in the first round. Chad Dawson is violently upset by the stoppage. Adonis Stevenson is the light heavyweight champion of the world. Hopkins can see that Trinidad only want to land a hard shot, nothing else. And that's a in one of boxing's biggest upsets, Bernard Hopkins dismantled the unbeaten Felix Trinidad in 2001. Hopkins dominated the fight with skill and strategy, culminating in a 12th round knockout to unify the middleweight titles, forever cementing his legacy as one of the sport's all-time greats. Fire back immediately. Trinidad misses with the right. Hopkins lands his own. Back Steve up. Fires the left hook. Trinidad getting as good as he finishes up. Most of the rallies. Yeah, but Hopkins has used a lot of his footwork. Legs up, moving around. That's not good. He's got his back against the ropes. He's living dangerously. He's still outscoring Trinidad. He's landing two punches to every one for Trinidad. They fight after the 
bell, and Hopkins dishes out twice as much. We're seeing That's the mark you want of a real champion in Trinidad because he's comes from some serious fire. This is the determination of Felix Trinidad. Trinidad is going to have to take some chances. And if you want to match by the determination of Bernard Hopkins, what an awesome show. What a great, great fight as we come down the stretch in the tenth round. Blood coming out of Trinidad's nose. Most of the crowd on its feet as they watch the two fighters trade through the round and beyond. Tito can get up. He's got the desire. He's never been knocked out. This fight is over. Steve Smoker stops it. No. Bernard Tito Trinidad comes in. Has done it. He knocked out Trinidad. Bernard Hopkins has put himself up there in the list of all the great middleweights.